Golang supports several operators. So if we define, so let's go with arithmetic. So if we define a variable x of the type integer, we could type x is three, and we can output that, right? So very basic program. Go run example.go, and we'll see three on the output. And one of the operators is the plus plus oper operator, which increments by one. So if we do this, it will start with x equals three, increment by one, so x will be four. If we run this, see x equals four. Of course, you can do the operator several times. So then it's plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, and it will output. So if you run it now, notes we got seven. Uh, likewise, we can decrease by one, so the minus operator. So we have 3, minus 1, it will be 2. There you go. And of course you can do this several times as well. So 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So we should be at 0 now. There you go. And we can also um, increase by a, um, a larger number because of course if you want to add 16, you don't, you're not going to type that 16 times. So we can type x equals 6 plus 16, and this will add 16 right away. There you go. Um, we can also subtract, so minus, and we get a negative number. Uh, you can also multiply, this is the multipli multiplication operator. There you go. Or you can divide. So if you run this, it will divide um, 3 divided by 16. But notice we're using whole numbers, so it rounds it to 0. Uh, if you want broken numbers, simply type change it into a float. So now we've got a broken number, right? Probably what you want. Um, you can also use uh, multiple variables. So if you have another float or another variable, you can type x equals x divide by y all right uh, y is not defined so make sure you define it mm, sorry so make sure you define it mm. there you go or you could like add it or you could have another variable that holds the total So you can do basic arithmetic in Golang using these operators, so uh, plus, minus, division, and multiplication, and then you have the increments and decrements operator.